a very good morning students children let us start a new chapter today and the name of the chapter is transport and communication and it is lesson number 10 lesson number 10 transport and communication i hope by these two words transport and communication you can understand what we are going to talk about you are also familiar with these two words isn't it children transport you all know the different type of vehicles we use the mode of transport we use from move, means moving from one place to another transport doesn't only mean that only the people move from one place to another it can be goods of course goods are to be transported from one place to another Uh, for raw materials from like we have uh, discussed in the industry chapter our industries that raw materials have to be uh, transported to the factories or industries and in industries the product is uh, manufactured made and then it has to be transported to the market and from market we the people the consumers take buy it or take it okay so these are the things means the people and goods are transported so that is your transport system the different modes of transport the vehicles used by people and goods to move from one place to another and what is communication children to communicate ha huh? how we communicate with each other yes we talk we do sometimes we do gestures like you remember in the english lesson we have done that how animals different animals do the gesture they move their hands they move their eyes or maybe the part of their body like this they show different gestures to indicate something or to tell something so we communicate and that there are different modes of communication can you name some of them yes i know of course first thing which will come to your mind is mobile uh, children the mobiles have become the most uh, sought out i mean sought after uh, means uh, what you say gadget in this current scenario or current um, times so that is a mode of communication isn't it we talk to our friends and relatives o- over the phone some of you must be having the old landline form uh, phones which you have in at home fixed in your at home uh, the difference between a mobile and a, that landline phone is that it is uh, that box which uh, is used a set which is used it is fixed in a place you cannot carry mobile so you can uh, as by the word mobile you can understand it in mobility means you can move around with the help of this uh, uh, mobile you can take anywhere you want then there are other means of uh, communication like newspaper when we read the newspaper we get a lot of information magazines you must have uh, read many magazines in our school library when you get different information different current uh, topics or any other thing. then we have uh, other means of communication which we are going to discuss in the coming modules children i hope you know like television is also a means of communication radio is a means of communication where we get lot of information and we uh, can pass the message to people in general okay so this are the things we are going to discuss in this uh, lesson transport and communication Uh, first there is one activity where some words are given and you have to put them in the correct box the words that are given in get set please do it in your textbook children this is given in your chapter in the beginning of the chapter get set get set and here they are, have given some words in the box words in the box which you have to find out which words belong to transport and which are the words related to communication now i read out the words letter ship bicycle email telephone train so these are the six words given and you can immediately do it that 
uh, which are the modes of transport, which are the transport means we use and which are the uh, means of communications uh, we use. Like ship, you all know, it's a water transport, bicycle, many of you on maybe having and riding bicycles, it's a road transport, train, you know, it moves on the track, it is a means of transport. Means of communication, I have letter. Yes, children, nowadays most of us don't write letters. Uh, we have email system where we uh, write something on our computer and mail it to the person. But yes, children, you must have learned how to write a letter to your family members. You will be learning how to write formal letters, like you have to write letters to. Uh, like when you are taking a leave from the school, you write leave letters to the principal or other official letters when you grow up. So you should know how to write letters. So letter is of course a very popular and important means of communication. Nowadays email has become a very important means of communication in all the institutes like in offices and even in the schools. Educational institute everywhere. You see, you can send email to your friends also. If you both of you have the email means ID, you should have email IDs. Telephone, as I have discussed, it can be mobile phone or your landline phone. So these are the three different means of communication. So children, these uh, is all about this chapter. We are now going to discuss about the means of transport. Thank you, children.